Hey, and we're back here with Mad Mole's Alpha 18 perk overhaul video and commentary. So we're going to go into agility. I hope you've uh, seen my previous one and uh, I would love to hear what your thoughts are about this. And I'm sure we are going to watch this and we're going to see some things we like, some things we don't like. Do let me know. Engage. Let's discuss. Let's see if we can provide some feedback back to that fun pin so they can tweak things before they release Alpha 18, which hopefully is coming in, I don't know, August this year. Hopefully, I hope. All right, let's get into it. Agility. Um, so archery is under here because this is kind of the stealth-based class. If you want to be quiet, obviously you're going to want to use a bow or, until you can get a, a, a silencer for your weapon. Um, so I thought that made sense. We've got archery under here, um, gunslinger, and this now governs uh, you know all handguns, which is we consider the uh, AK-47. Because we kind of like thought, well, you know, everybody needs some serious stopping power, you know. So we gave the, uh, and the, the SMG is so small, it's basically an automatic pistol. So we made it into a handgun. So it's governed by this one. And uh, so you could have the Magnum, a pistol, and, a, and an SMG if you need to really crack off some rounds, if you know, to stop the, the ferals from running at you. And the Magnum, you know, maybe your refret fire rate isn't fast enough yet. You know, once you get... Once you get these, though, I'm, I'm doing an agility character right now. I mean, I have I just cleared a tier four by the skin of my teeth, might I add. Um, but I did it with a, you know, using a Magnum. I ran out of, I didn't take enough nine millimeter, and I ended up, had to use my Magnum, and it was in the wasteland. So once I started firing that loud Magnum, every, you know, I had fat cops and everything breaking in from outside, <laughs> coming to get me, and... You know, it was it was pretty intense, but yeah, we made it. It was cool. But yeah, you might want to use an AK-47 in your oh shit situations where you're getting overwhelmed. Um, yeah, the I think he's talking about AK-47 when he's actually talking about the SMG. <laughs> I think he's uh, getting ahead of himself because he talked about AK-47 in the previous one, which was the Fortitude, which was under the machine gunnery. But yes, it it makes sense. SMG is more similar to I think that. Uh, pistol than it is, I guess, to a light machine gun. These are pretty cool. And then deep cuts. We've kind of reworked the knife perk. It's, it feels a little different and does guaranteed bleeding. Um, at a massive level, at a high rank, so it's pretty good now. Um, you know, you've got your run and gun, you know, your flurry of blows, all this stuff's kind of the same. We've, we've kind of reworked armor. Armor's... Um, no long, you no longer really get um, any armor bonuses anymore. You, it, the armor is what it is, and you can mod it to be better, but it's pretty good when crafted. So you can craft that first um, cloth armor, and it's not too bad, and go all the way up to heavy. But basically, you're you know you're reducing your uh, improving your durability and getting rid of movement penalties with these ranks here. So, you know, it feels a little better as you rank into this. And that's, kind of and that's some interesting changes for the armor. And I think I agree with it. It was always really weird that armor was better if you had perk as opposed to just not having a perk. I mean, armor is armor. Either it's good or it's not good. What I can think that it really makes sense to allow you to move better in it, moving more quietly, moving faster, less encumbered and everything as you get to used to wearing the armor. So I think that's a good change. It also, I think, allows for better balancing across armor because now you don't really have to take into account whether you have perks and everything that boost it up. Because once you start multiplying things, things can get really weird. Let's say you have the armor that gives 10 and then you have some mods that gives an extra 50%. Now you have 15 and then you have a, a perk that gives an extra 15%. And now you're up to, you know, 15 times 15%, which is another, so you're up at 22 and a half. When actually you're like, oh, I, I just wanted to be like 15, 16, 17 total but it's up to 22 because you're multiplying things so that always causes a problem with how you're handling and i think they mentioned that problem as part of some of the other discussion on the forum and i think maybe that's why they did it just streamline a little bit make that a little bit easier to balance uh, between the different items kind of the, the design there instead of having it um all the protection come in later game so if you just craft some decent armor you know it you can feel it like right away now which is good and before it seems like you could never in 17 you really couldn't feel the armor until you got a, you know 
some really good stuff and um, later game with mods it started to feel like you had some adequate protection well now you can just you know it's pretty it's pretty good it doesn't get any better except through uh, you know as you find better pieces and speaking of that real quick and I think that uh, I agree with that assessment. In Alpha 16 and previously, a lot of people say, hey, I don't care about armor because it doesn't really matter. Then I did a bunch of tests on how much armor can mitigate and it can be actually huge, especially if you perked up as well because you went basically went down from 20 damage to one damage because of this multiplication effect of how armor was handled. Alpha 17, um, armor can be really, really useful. I noticed that when I was doing streaming and I had no armor, Two hits from a feral and you know I, I, I was almost toast and then i was toast um and because i forgot to actually get myself some armor i got the armor and all of a sudden i can go toe to toe with the feral and survive and still have a fair bit of health points left so streamlining how you craft it how you wear it how you use it i think really makes sense because you can imagine yourself you're in a zombie apocalypse I mean, I, I know when I watched The Walking Dead and I saw them walking around with riot armor, and I'm like, yeah, get some riot gear, helmet, get a riot shield, and you'll be surviving the zombies a lot more than if you had nothing on. In Alpha 17, it felt a little bit like, yeah, 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 maybe at some point if I find something, I'll just wear it, but yeah, it's fairly troublesome unless I, and doesn't help enough unless I really perk up or I get like military armor or maybe iron or steel. Anything else? Eh, not useful. How many, for instance, have crafted cloth armor, even leather armor? I'll wear it, but I very rarely uh, craft it. I'll wear, I'll wait until I get iron armor before I really get any armor done. Quick here. Um, we, all, we have random stats now, and that's a whole other video probably, but I, just real quickly, all these stats can vary. So, you know, you might actually find a lower tiered item that's better than the, than the higher one it's it's diff, it's rare but i mean there is some there was there's some overlap on these ranges to where you know a brown um not a brown one but probably you know an orange a really good orange might might do better might have better damage than this than a really crappy blue one but you know chances are all these other stats will be better on the blue one, but there is that rare one where you, you know, it's a little bit of a choice. So you have to check your stats and it's, it's pretty cool. And I think that's a, that one is a good thing. There was a lot of complaints, I think, or feedback, if I put this in a constructive manner, a lot of feedback previously where people felt that, hey, you know, why doesn't the damage and everything change based on the quality? Always the same. Now they brought that back, which it, Thank you very much. You know, it's it's a, a point where they are listening to feedback, and that's great because a quality six should be better than a quality one. I think it should do more damage because it's better made. Yes, more durability and everything, but it should also be you know better as far as damage. But you know, less stamina cost maybe a tax permit and all those things which should matter. And I like that they randomize it a little bit, so it's not just fixed that you know quality one gives twenty, then one gives twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, whatever. That they actually randomize a little bit and yeah i mean sure it might mean that you find a purple one that gives 23 damage but has better rest which one do you use or maybe does 22 depending on how bad the overlap is but i think that's part of the random i mean it, it still means that you probably will favor having the purple one unless you're in a specific situation where you really need the full damage output and you don't care so much about attacks per minute or the durability and i guess it also helps people to feel a sense of progression that it's not just oh well i already have a quality 5 one so I, I don't even need to look at it because i have a quality 5 now what happens in alpha 17 if i find something i i, I look at the tier but not very much i mostly look at that if i want to put mods on it so now this allows me to look at the tier but in alpha 17 i also look at how much durability is left because that dictates my use a lot more than actual quality tier uh, it really gives the game legs. It's like, wow, I think I upgraded my pistol like four times in one day. They were all orange pistols I found, but I found one that, you know, they had better stats with each find, and I thought that was pretty interesting. And it just feels like there's endless loot now. And then, uh, not to get sidetracked, but, I, you know, it's pretty exciting. I'll try to... So these are all pretty much the same. You know, we've got... You know, we've got all these names that we come up with, and uh, but yeah, the stealth game is pretty good. There's a few little tuning things I want to do, and then we've got uh, in so overall agility, probably one of the strongest ones still of the perks or the attributes. 
I've always liked them because um, light armor has been useful, parkour has been really useful, uh, depending on which weapons you use. Archery, obviously, use the gunslinger deep cuts. Hidden Strike and From the Shadows are a little bit of uh, oddities. I don't normally do a lot of stealth action when I play because I tend to do either videos or stream and uh, spending you know two hours to walk through a, a, a PY because I'm sneaking all the time doesn't really make sense but they are really really powerful so it, it still means that if you want to really be quiet and keep uh, keep from getting uh, detected or killed I can see this together with I think the infiltrator perk meaning you can sneak and you can get the awareness of what's around you and with archery maybe deep cups that allows you to silently take down the zombies in clear PI so you can get a lot of loot that way so and parkour of course is always useful for jumping up or not taking damage when you fall so I think agility still a really really strong attribute what do you think is this a good one are there not enough changes here because obviously agility looks fairly similar there's not a lot of changes as far as the perks i think that um, maybe a, a little bit of rebalancing but the perks are all the same there's actually nothing really new here I, I think the only new things is obviously archery lets you craft better quality bows gunslinger presumably better quality pistols and smgs and uh, that i think that's the big change as far as the attribute agility let me know what you think in the comment section below. Next time, we're going to go into Interlact. I believe that may be the last or that well, almost last. Special thanks to the great patrons supporting the channel. If you would like to join the vetted community and support these videos, do follow the Patreon link.